Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Siebert. It's time for our tropical forecast here on YouTube. So we've had a lot to change in the last 24 hours with Nicholas. It's now tropical depression and by tomorrow it'll probably be just a remnant low. Winds are still at about 30 miles per hour, moving to the east only at two. That's not good news for our friends over here to the east of all this that are getting all the rain on that. But uh, we do expect it to continue to weaken slowly as well, which is, I guess, good news if there is good news out of this. But there's still very heavy rainfall going on, especially over here uh, from Mobile to Pensacola. That's the problem areas now where the flash flood warnings continue at least until 745 tonight. Flood warnings or watches, I should say, go from Panama City basically through Mobile. New Orleans, Lafayette, up to Alexandria. And keep in mind, everyone here in southeastern Louisiana, they're still trying to recover from Ida. So they, they've got uh, holes in their ro roofs. They're trying to, I mean, it's just it's a mess over there. And having all this rain is just insult to injury to them. I feel badly about that. Now let's talk about what else is going on in the tropics. I realize we don't want to look there, but we have to. So this has a 70% chance of organizing just off the East Coast. We're going to take a closer look in a second. And the one that just came off the uh, coast of Africa, 90%. So an 80% over two days, 90% chance of organizing over the next five days. And then this just popped up as well at 0% for the next couple of days Then the yellow and then 20% after that. But you notice how it's already turning to the right like that. When it's turning already that quickly, we're not worried about that one at all. I'm not so worried about this one simply because it is going to be turning to the right from the East Coast. That This one we have to just watch. I'm not saying it's coming here, but we just have to watch this. So let's run through these. So this is uh, the latest invest. Uh, this is 96 and there's the computer models. So that's all looking good. Even the ones that are off to the right a little bit on the crazier side. Um, and if you notice, Right in here, that's another front. Another front's gonna come through, help nudge that out to sea. So it uh, might be more of an issue for Bermuda. They're gonna get some rain out of that, but I think uh, it'll kind of work its way in that direction. Now, as we come down here to the next one, so this is 95, Invest 95. And again, it's got a long, long way to go. And notice how the trend is to get it more to the right of the Windward Islands, and so that might put it on to the right of Puerto Rico, to the right. So we'll see uh, what happens with that over the next week. Yeah, it's going to take a week before we even have an idea on this one, and the, so we're just continue to watch those long-range models. We've just passed the peak of hurricane season, and just the way that things are looking right now, I don't think it's really going to slow down um, for the next little bit. And I mean, we'd like it to, but it's not. Uh, so. There you go. And at this point, anyway, I don't see anything uh, in the long ranges that have anything happening in the Gulf of Mexico. But as you know, sometimes that changes too. For those of you who are keeping score, Odette is our next one on the screen. That's coming up next. So whether that's going to be from Invest 95 or 96, we'll have to wait to see. But chances are we'll get to Odette and Peter before we get to the end of the week. And that's how things are shaping up right now with our hurricane uh, season. It's been pretty active. We're still kind of recovering, trying to recover from Nicholas here in the, the southeast Texas area. So at least for now, uh, it looks quiet for at least a little while in the Gulf. And of course, we'll keep our eye on those things out there in the Atlantic. We'll talk to you real soon.